Robbo or Barn in effect and welcome back uh, and this is an update video for uh, cable management for the Oculus Rift and ceiling extension so from the last time what I've done I uh, thought I'd just explain a little bit more about the setup what I've got um, and all the sub equipment that I've got I'm going to put some links in the description of everything that I use so first of all the update from last time is the ceiling extension. I had kind of the little curly key ring uh, attached to the ceiling but didn't really work that well so I've bought these from Amazon and they're cable, these cable extensions so when you pull it down it really does extend and there's about a, nearly two meters I would imagine of cable to the ceiling and they work really well. You can pull them down quick and they snap back up in place, keep the cable in and uh, the cable away from the back of your head as you're using the Rift. I think this is a really good product, so I'll show you that now. Pop that back up on there. So those are these. These look like keyring kind of things really. They're absolutely fantastic. And you get six in a box. And they come with self adhesive little hooks that you put on the ceiling. And <laughs> once they're up, they're up. I don't know how I'm going to get them down without destroying the plasterwork, but that's for another time. I don't care now. It's keeping the rift cables up on the ceiling really well. So, like I say, you get six in a box. You get little hooks as well, like carabine hooks if you need to use those if you want to. And they come from Midweck. Uh, supply so I'll be contacting them saying thank you very much for that as you can see the cable comes out the back of the PC using electrical conduit self adhesive bat and goes all the way around to the sensor there then I've got another sensor there and the conduit goes all the way around to the other sensor there and I've extended the conduit out to there if I need to move that sensor a little bit further I've got that option if I want to and as you can see, they're mounted with security camera brackets screwed onto these little rubber blocks that I've managed to get. So they're very, very light, but you can screw into them. And I've attached that to the wall using some 3M Command stickers. Really good product. Again, these from Amazon, so I'll be putting the link in the description for those as well. For the rubber blocks, if you can find like a little rubber merchant or something close to you, they'll do some cutoffs, no doubt. And I've also purchased the VR cover. So this is the uh, the, the faux faux leather, if you like, version of it. And I've actually got on the Rift version now the fabric version which does give a little bit more comfort so you've not got the uh, the sponge rubber uh, rubbing on your on your brow and uh, it does help with the fogging up a little bit as well I must admit light cancellation is good as well so you don't get any light bleed coming out of those now so you might have to get some extra USB 3.0 port so I've got this Intec product which I have got another video of this being installed into my PC so this will give you a few extra USB 3.0 ports if you need them now a couple of other products I want to talk about that I use the Ugreen Deluxe Computer Cable which is the 3.0 extension cable this one's two meters long and I use that for two of the sensors and the headsets which goes along that conduit there and also there is the HDMI cable as well which I've got extension to there as well and we were talking about the Inertech product there the USB 3 card that's in the PC you can get a standard plug-in to give you an extra four ports as well if you want to go that route that's a four port ultra sim for the 3.0 data. I've not used it because I said I've got the card so I thought I'd uh, put that in there. Another thing I want to talk about as well uh, if you're not aware uh, I was using the head there to keep my headset on the VR headset to keep it on there but the, the light does come through the window and you don't want to get sunlight directly on to the lenses because they act as a magnifying glass and they will burn your pixels 
so you want to keep that as dark as you can and that's why now I am storing it on one of the hooks on the ceiling where direct sunlight won't get at it and destroy the pixels because you don't want to be replacing your headset either like I said I'll pop all this information in the description below with some of the links of where I've purchased some of the products I uh, am Robbo or Barn in effect I think that's about it for the video if there's any questions you want me to answer just let me know and I'll do my best to answer them cheers and goodbye